Welcome back, dogs. Happy Monday. After the pledge, cabin gowns, and more. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, make sure to get your cap and gown before the price goes up. The price will rise in January 2024. All December, the cost will be $43.87. Talk to Ms. Serenic for more information. Freshmen and sophomore girls, there will be a free on-campus event at Purdue on February 24, 2024 at 8.30 a.m. And the event will last till 4 p.m. Check the chatter for more information. Our on-location crew was able to get a glimpse on Mr. Everett and his class, giving you instructional tips on the safety precautions of scaffolding. Here's a the video they made. All right, so uh, what we're doing um, today and on uh, uh, Friday was the uh, personal fall arrest system training. It goes along with OSHA. And it uh, follows in with uh, working on a multiple story building on the outside or on the, the rooftops. Um, and they, uh, they have a system that's going to keep you from falling off uh, or it's going to help you to stop from falling um, and hitting the ground. So um, the training is mainly meant for you to figure out how to put the device on, how uncomfortable it feels, how much it can actually cause you to, uh, if you just dangled from it for a length of time, possibly even lose feeling in your legs and not be able to move around. So. New standard is that uh, the uh, person that's on the scaffold needs to be able to figure out how to self-rescue. Uh, oftentimes on a, a job like that, you might be in an area by yourself. So that's the purpose of this uh, exercise. It's all location crew, not a sports. Thank you, Ivans. Hope everyone had a fun Thanksgiving watching lots of football. My Colts are now 6-5. and five. Second is the go and should definitely be Coach of the Year. Over the break, me and the boys took on the Clinton Prairie basketball team the day before Thanksgiving. We unfortunately took a tough loss, 63-56, to 56, as me and Kirby were in foul trouble the whole game. Shout out Edwin Wayne Scott for popping off in his first varsity basketball game. We'd like to thank all those who came out to support us as the student section was very big. Keep popping out the rest of the year and we won't disappoint you. We take on the 8th ranked Tipton this Friday, so make sure you show out. That's it for sports. Now, Anthony with the weather. Thank you, Doug, and welcome back to school. It's going to be a stressful three and a half weeks as finals are coming up, but I'm sure you don't want to hear that yet. Anyways, I'm sure everyone has gained a couple of pounds as there was Thanksgiving dinner and then lots and lots of leftovers. Well, this morning you would have noticed that it was freezing. So later today, the weather is going to have a massive change of 30 degrees, very different from what it, from what it was last week. It's going to be cloudy throughout the day, and at night it's going to be even colder than what it was at this morning at the freezing temperature of 12 degrees. It's getting even colder as we draw closer to winter, start dressing up for the weather, and that should be it for today. Now it's Ingrid. Thank you, Ant-Man. For lunch today, we'll be having in lines one and two chicken nuggets, and then a row and for lines three salad bar, and for line four is assorted stuffed crust pizza. Special birth happy birthday goes out to Yoslin Rivera. That wraps up the morning announcements. Have a good day, dogs.